Columbus Day fan? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Ciao, yo sono Christopher Columbus, and I'm asking people whether they like Columbus Day or they hate Columbus Day. We're gonna ask some trivia questions too, so um, thanks for watching. I think it's fine. We've, yeah, everybody's done horrible things in history. He didn't really do anything that bad. Personally, he, and, he and wasn't he a good... Was a slave owner? There was misconceptions. He um, enslaved some of um, prisoners of war with the uh, the Carib tribe, who were cannibals at the time, trying oh. to eat the the uh, Taino tribe, which he befriended when he first landed. Uh. Oh, yeah. I'm, just, I'm sorry, I I, be, I befriended. Yeah, that's not a big. I'm not anti-Columbus at all. There's too many other things to worry about. I agree. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm right here. What are you talking oh, about? Sorry. I'm right here. <laughs> Cute as ever. Thank hey, you. Christopher hey, Christopher Columbus. Happy Columbus Day. Dude, I'm here to save his name. You're here to save Columbus I Day. I am Saint like Jeremiah, Saint and Archangel Michael, Saint and firstborn ordained blessed minister of, of all of America, Slickerman, Jeremy Michael Slickerman. I came out here to save his name. I save Columbus Day. You came to save me. I know. I'm saying me. I want to keep him here. Look at you in the middle. You standing on. You There's my statue. You carved out of marble, bro. Yeah. I know this. I know our history. He's an amazing dude. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, can I hug you? Sure, man. Thank you. COVID. COVID didn't kill a single person. It killed kindness. And yo, check me out on YouTube. Check him out on YouTube. It's who I am. It's where I live. I'm 30 years old on the street. and I'm running for president. I voted for both Obama and Trump. Thank you. Vote for Jeremy Michael Slickerman or Takencho if you didn't know though. That's T C E N C H O. And I never dabbed in VR chat, I only dabbed in reality. Did I get to keep this? Oh yeah, of course. Thank you. Italian I'm Italian. Italian Thank Heritage Month. Also, man. not only am I Italian, German, I'm Irish and I'm Czech Republic. It's a melting pot. It's a great state, great United States. That's why I want to get someone who's Spanish, an actual Spaniard, that's spot up. Or Konnichiwa Nissan, Japanese. Or Privet Sukhobet. That Russian's though. Awesome. You know, uh, tell Britney Spears I would give her everything right now. I've, I've been celibate for her since this whole conservatorship started. I'm the one who never left her side. I'm 14 years celibate for you. October 27th is my birthday. That's the 14th year. Britney Spears, I'll give you all the babies. Where you at, Britney? I love you. Dad. Oh, and Molly Cyrus, you're cool too, though. What up, Miley? Take it easy, bro. All right, trivia questions. Ready? Sure. What year did Columbus sail the ocean blue? 1492. 1492. We got one. Hey. Nice. Can, can you guys name the three ships? Mina, Pinta, Santa Maria. And he takes on Columbus Day. Hot takes. Hot takes. We could probably find someone better to have a holiday. Which sailor right. sailed to New York City before Columbus? I'll give you a hint, there's a bridge named after him. Leif Erikson? Giovanni de Verrazano, the Verrazano Bridge. Before him were the Vikings in uh, Maine. You found him. There you go. Good question. All right guys, have a happy Columbus, or anybody that you think should replace Columbus. Oh. For Columbus Day. Man. Barack Obama. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Any Italian Americans? Do you guys do you guys know why we celebrate Columbus? Partially the reason why we celebrate Columbus Day? Probably not the reason you're talking about. Yeah, no, actually I don't. In um in the late 1800s, the largest mass lynching in U.S. history was um to 13 Italian Americans that were fully exonerated from a crime that they didn't commit. There was a Whoa. mass lynching mass lynching, and in response to that, Columbus Day is portrayed as an Italian American holiday. Yeah, it's a, I mean, that's good. Some fun facts that you guys didn't know, maybe. No, yeah, did, didn't know, know that. Awesome. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Want my statue? Yeah. It's hard to discover something that was already in existence. I mean, he was the first person to like connect the two worlds, like the old world and the new world. He's never saying he's the first person here, but yeah, he's he led the first initiative. Who, who we herald and how we do so um, influences history as it moves forward. Um, there was a lot of like genocide and stuff like that of people. Genocide's a touchy word. A lot of a lot of disease. Don't get me wrong. Natives were um, killed, but it was from a lot of disease that was inadvertently brought. 
Yeah. It's, I mean, it's all, sometimes it comes like unintentionally. Um, being that some of my ancestry is indigenous, um, I have a particular relationship to um, the idea of like, there not being other figures like surrounding the area that are not um, centralizing like Europeans and um, Western conquest. Uh, I think it's really important to, um, like it's not only reinforcing like certain individuals and certain cultures and certain languages and certain um, ways of knowing. Um, prioritize a lot of like Latin and things like that in um, language. Um, and it's just like, I don't know, I like um, representation in um, statue, like statues and stuff like that as we're seeing like where um, there are figures being um, like John Lewis, there's a new statue, I I'm, I'm not sure exactly where, and like Rekia Boyd, like victims of like this state and institution, like how these people, like the people who are um, represented, like are, are the people who like instated some of the, like, the things. Do you know why this statue was first built in 1892? Oh, please enlighten me. Please yeah, enlighten me. so um, the largest mass lynching to ever occur on U.S. Mm -hmm. soil was against 13 Italian Americans mm -hmm. who were lynched for a crime that they were exonerated for that very day. Yeah. So um, Italy was ta in talks of war, so in, in um, I guess, restitution to that, Columbus Day started to become an Italian American holiday, gotcha. and that's why the statue was built in 1892, a year after the lynching. Oh, that's well. For one, that's wonderful. It would be. I think it would even be cooler if this was in Italy. You know what I'm saying? It happened right. in the states. It was Italian Americans that came here that helped build Understood, the country as well. Like where where it is like you know what I mean? Like where the um, holiday is celebrated. Like that's where it should like. Do you think it should be renamed Italian American Day instead? I think it should. Um, I think that like the the idea that we're calling it Indigenous Heritage Day as well as Festival of I think it did. I, I don't don't get me wrong. I believe yeah. Indigenous Peoples Day should definitely be a holiday, maybe yeah. even a month. Yeah. And but I'm not sure if it should take over Columbus Day, which was in, in firstly supposed to be an Italian American holiday. You know what's, I, that's that's awesome. Um, what you call it? Uh, but I think that there should be also another holiday, maybe the day before or after, called Bonds Mending. I think there's something that needs to happen where like we get we rid ourselves of the tensions between um, all American peoples. And I was always talking to my family, I'm like, we should do bonds mending, even among our families, where we like deal with like the tensions between like our familial and communal. I think con conversations yeah. like these help? I, I think so too. Um, I just have a particular um, relationship again, because I'm a student of um, Afro-American history, indigenous history, and I'm just, um, I'm, I'm not exactly familiar with Italian history, um, being that like, I, like the hyphen American is what connects all of us. Absolutely. And I think that we need to prioritize the wellness between all of us um, in this, uh, in this um, aspect of bonds mending. Um, I love Italians, I love pasta. And I love every type of bread. Awesome. Here, take an Italian flag for your Thank travels. You. Yeah, I really love you. I was just talking about you guys. Just like, some of my best friends, like, throughout, like, middle school. I was like, because I was like, there's different kinds of white people. <laughs> and I was like, there's dark white people. And, like, my favorite two people were my um, gym teachers who, like, let me host the talent show because they thought I was, like, really funny. And, like, there's just Italian Americans. And I was just like, these are my guys. You're so, very well spoken. I appreciate the conversation. It. Take it easy. How's it going, guys? Can we get your thoughts on Columbus Day? Oh, I guess not. Sorry. No, happy Columbus Day almost. <laughs> All right, what year did Columbus sail to? 1492. Got it. Hey! Bingo. Thought, thoughts on Columbus Day? No comment. <laughs> no comment no on Columbus comment Day. He was a brave Day. Italian explorer. Yeah, I mean. Do you guys know why we celebrate Columbus Day? Why do we celebrate Columbus Day? We awesome. celebrate it partially as an Italian-American holiday because of the largest mass lynching in U.S. history in the late 1800s was against 13 Italian-Americans who were exonerated for a crime and they were lynched for a crime that they didn't commit. That's interesting. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's differently <laughs> now, but that's cool. Any, any, any takes on Columbus at all? No oh comment. <laughs> we're too political. No? <laughs> all right. It's on Columbus Day? No? Alright. Hey guys, thoughts on Columbus Day? No. Your thoughts on Columbus Day? Thoughts on Columbus Day? Not much, sorry. No thoughts on Columbus Day? No. Well, sorry. happy Columbus Day, guys. What's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for watching. Um, happy Columbus Day. We're just driving back from Columbus, Ohio. Had a great time at the festival. Now, if you want more info on Christopher Columbus and debunking some of the myths that are said about him, go to knowcolumbus.org, K-N-O-W, columbus.org. Links in the description and uh, learn the real history about Christopher Columbus. Other than that, be sure to like, subscribe. Um, we're going to be doing more Columbus videos in the future. Those are a blast. So uh, see you guys in the next video. Ciao.